one after the other. You just drive from one to the other, go uphill, down dale, and see the striking golden stone fish tree. This is Green Beaujolais, just to give an idea as well, very panoramic views, natural. Beaujolais is not touristy, it's, it's remained unspoiled, very unspoiled. It's not a destination that people have thought of going to because they've thought of the wine, but really next time stop off on your way down to somewhere else or come and stay for longer. There's plenty of activities to do and it really is worth discovering. This is the Seine River. And being so handy to, to Lyon as well means that you can go into the countryside, have wonderful unspoiled natural environment, and then if you want your city, then you go down to Lyon in 30 minutes, so it's very practical too. And of course up in the, the Green Bourgeois there are many activities like this, rollerblading, walking, hiking, um, fishing, fishing, horseback riding, and uh, cross-country cycling as well. They're one of the biggest uh, off-country, off-road, Cycling uh, tracks. Play, tracks is in the bush there. Yeah, one of the biggest in France. This is a typical view <laughs> in Beaujolais. You can see as far as the Mont Blanc, and in fact, we say in Beaujolais that if you can see the Mont Blanc, it's not a good sign because it's going to rain two days later, and it very often does. But you have a, a view over the whole of the range of the Alps from afar, it's quite, quite striking. These are little cadol you see all over in the vineyards, which is where the uh, winemakers, wine workers, would put all their tools and have lunch, and keep their lunch while they're working in the vineyard. This is a place that has an outdoor theatre, a uh, wine grower that, has, that does festivals in the summer. We talk about Lyon, but actually villefranche sur seine is a very active town too, culturally and historically. Beaujolais is one of the oldest regions in France, so there's many historical uh, monuments to see, chateaux, and Villefranche is very, very interesting historically too. It has a theatre, uh, it's culturally. Yeah, 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 it's still somewhere else. Does anybody have any questions for the moment? Yes? We're going to be uh, uh, talking about the crew in a moment. Does anybody know? Oh, sorry. Beaujolais, and they are the Beaujolais, Julianas, 
The Beaujolais is the all made in the same Gamay Grey. Morgue Roux. Moulin Avant. You saw the windmill up there. The yes, Moulin Avant means windmill in case you don't speak French. Renier, the, la the latest of the uh, cruise. And then we have Chirouble. And last but not least, Saint Amour, which is the wine that everyone has on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Now you've learned about the wine and the area, how beautiful it is. I think the things to remember is that it's it's easy to get to from England. It's an unknown region, so it's really worth discovering. It's diverse, countryside, very natural, great weather. Um, and actually people are very friendly. The winemakers, you can you can knock on anybody's door and they'll welcome you and and uh, make themselves understood in French. <laughs> because they don't, they don't necessarily speak, speak any other thing, anything else but French. It still is very, very, very French. They basically are very proud of what they do too, and they're, they're eager to let you taste the wine. So we have, uh, again, uh, probably now they do the white Beaujolais with the Chardonnay grape, but now more and more winemakers are doing sparkling wines. They're doing a pink sparkling wine with the Gamay grape or a white sparkling wine with the Chardonnay grape. And even there's some, uh, quite a few are doing uh, organic wines and even organic red sparkling, uh, low alcohol. So there, there are many, many different uh, Beaujolais wines. But again, it, it's local. Uh, for those wines, they're not exported. It's still experimental. They're seeing how the market is. But hopefully it'll come to England soon. Because I know that in England there's a, a big, big demand for low alcohol wines. And it, they're very good. They really are good. Shall we proceed to the drawing? Oh, it's good. Yes. So, so if any of you have been by our stand the last couple of days, you may have noticed we had an own and you were putting, filling out the forms to participate in the raffle. So now we're going to draw the winners. Finally. <laughs> the fourth prize is one yes. night with breakfast for two persons at the Hotel Plaisance plus two one-day pass, passes for the zoo and amusement park, which is called Toll Park. Yeah. And the winner is. And the winner is. <laughs> the winner is Catherine Stacy. Any Catherine Stacy here? Yep. We should mark down four. Yep. We need ten. Oh well. Okay, you can do number three. Okay. The third prize is one evening at the hotel Le Clos du Chat, which is my hotel. Uh, one night with breakfast for two persons, plus a two-day pass for the zoo and amusement park, which is called Tour Park. Matthew Winwood. Matthew. <laughs> Even if they're not here, they still win. <laughs> the second prize is at the Hotel de Mariton, one night for two persons with breakfast and lunch, and a two and two one-day passes for the amusement park, Toro Park. And the winner is the winners are David and Eileen Adams. Matthew. Oh, that's it. That's it. First prize. And first prize. Two days plus one night at the Chateau de Pise and a one day pass at the uh, Zoo and Amusement Park to a park and the winner is Nikki Ross. Nobody here, what a no, shame. We, we don't know what day because we didn't know what day they were going well, sorry that there aren't any winners among us, but you can still win by coming to the Beaujolais and enjoying the visit. So. And please, our stand is just on the other side of this, uh, the tree house, and we're still, we still have some wine that you can taste, and we prefer that you tasted it, then take it all the way back with us. Yes. So please come and taste some wine with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, girls.